In August 2013, um, the school was completely destroyed by fire over the weekend and that was just three days before we were all due to come back for the start of the new school year. And so there was absolutely nothing left, no, no walls, just ashes really. We came out to market unexpectedly as a consequence of the fire um, and uh, as part of the mini competition for Celtics and Tratters we tended, but I think the robustness and the understanding and the empathy in our response demonstrated that we were the best contractor to actually deliver them a new facility going forward. So we've de delivered a um, £5.8 million pound brand new infant school, which is uh, 12 classrooms, four of which are for the foundation. Um, also part of the works we uh, extended to the junior school. The beauty of this building is that it's been built for the complete number of children that we've got. So we've got enough classes and enough space for the expanding pupils. We tried to get this, both schools fully engaged as early as we could. Um, they had a school council which was basically organised purely for the new build. So we invited the school council over and they'd report on it sort of every couple of weeks. We put vision panels within the hoarding at lower levels from the junior school side rather than just from sort of the road side which isn't normal so the kids could actually see what was going on. Um, what was really fantastic is that they were really keen to involve the children in the build so that was an amazing learning opportunity for our children. So. Although we had the sadness of losing our school, um, lots of positives came out of it because what a fantastic opportunity as a young child. When they grow up, they're the children that can say, actually, I saw my, my school being built. But what uh, became apparent, and this is in defence to Dan Morris as well, he put his hand up very early days to say, I live around the corner, my son goes to um, the school, we'll go to the school, and my other child will be going to the school as well. If there's any opportunity for me to get involved, then please bear me in mind. I mean, I've worked for Morgan Sindel for 15 years now, and I've done many schools and different buildings that affect communities, but it's a very much a one-off opportunity, I believe, to be able to build something that directly affects my family. I've got two sons, both of them will be going to the school, and hopefully their future will be shaped from that school that I was involved in building. So it became ultra-important, not only on all of our projects, but this one in particular, because of the experiences they've gone through, to actually establish them something that gave them the opportunity to make their mark and say this is you know, 2015, we've got the opportunity of giving the staff, the pupil and everybody else associated with the school the best possible facilities within the budget available. Jonathan and Daniel have organised um, a fun afternoon from, I think as a present from Morgan Sindel. Um, so we're having bouncy castles, I think there are swing boats, every child's going to have a free ice cream and we're just going to enjoy ourselves in the sunshine on the field to celebrate our new school. It became an opportunity for us to actually say thanks and appreciate all the efforts that the, the school have gone to to accommodate our wants and needs and requirements to actually deliver them you know, a project. They definitely had a vision that it was a school with a, with a special um, use and that it was part of the community. So they, they really did um, buy into the fact that it was a school and that they wanted it to be used by the children and enjoyed by the children. They, want, they really did want it to be the right thing for all of us. It was that they were just, I think, ready to go that extra mile really for us and on time. That was the most important thing, it was ready for the September on time.